Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another tutorial. Um, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to uh, rig an object up, create a joint, and attach that joint to your rig so you can get some animated movements. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just begin. So, the best way I like, well, the best way I learned is to create some objects, um, create a bone structure. Um, and basically attach that bow structure um, to the actual rig itself for movement. So um, let's do it a basic way, and I'm just going to create a um, a cylinder like so. Let's just drag that up. Okay, so we've got one cylinder, and let's create another cylinder. Put it down like that. In like that, select that move tool. Let's just place that into position. So, imagine this is a joint. Let's just put that into position, like so. So, okay, so that'll do. So, just imagine that this is um, the top half of an arm. Let's just put that into position. Okay, so um, imagine this is the top, this is the bottom. What we want to do is we want to get some movement on here. Um, so let's just go down to polygon mode. And uh, we want to make these move independently um, of themselves so they can be animated. So we've got two pieces here, for instance. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is create a joint. Now, I recommend this is the best way to sort of practice. Um, creating joints um, in Maya um, and linking them together um, because you can sort of create a skeleton with this as well just using cylinders, basic cylinders um, basically linking them up together, create a joint and just practice on some movement so this is the best way I would say to do that okay so let's get cracking let's go to wireframe mode so we can see exactly what we're doing and I'm just going to go into this and then I'm just going to go to panels I'm just going to go front zoom out so I've got my entire uh, rig in sight and I'm just going to click on this little icon here click on my mouse button first point and then drag down slowly I want this centre bit here to be my main joint and I want this to be the bottom part of my joint so we've got one Oh, let's just undo that and just go press enter and then we're going to go back into perspective mode and just line that joint up have a look around and that's lined up pretty well make sure that this piece here is dead center to where the joint is and what we're going to do is we're just going to with all these selected we're going to uh, come up to edit and then I'm just going to hit select hierarchy so all of these are basically highlighted and then once this is highlighted I'm going to hold down shift and then click on the first box like so then I'm going to change from polygon to animation come to skin and just tick smooth binding and you want to make sure all this is selected so you've got a uh, so I selected joints so I'll just leave this on here for a second so you can see exactly what my settings are and this is the best sort of settings you can get for rigging and then once you've done that I'm just going to click on buy and skin and then that will turn purple I'm going to repeat the process for this I'm going to click shift click on this go to skin smooth binding click on buy and skin now obviously as you can see this is all turned purple but what that means is when I get the rotation tool, what I've done is I've created a joint um, on my model. Um, obviously, if you're creating more sort of complex, you know, complex characters, guys, make sure that you um, complete the skeleton for the whole rig um, and join it and join the bones. Because if you don't, um, you're going to have to do this um, for each each basically each joint you've got so if I go back to smooth mode as you can see I've 
I've got a full animatable rig that I can control. So if I go to my keyframes, select S, bring it across, bring it up, S. As you see, I've got fully animated or animatable uh, rig that I can sort of play around with. But obviously, it's um, this is the sort of best way to sort of practice. You know, you could um, you know do a center joint. You know, create a sort of stick figure with this, um, and practice your joint rigging um, in this sort of way before you actually practice on your actual model just to get it right. So we've got this bit here, and this bit will move the whole arm, the rig, like so. We've got this bit here, which will not do a lot, but because it's the bottom, so this could be the foot, for instance. So the only two rigable points is these points here. So guys, I hope this has helped. Um, thanks for listening, guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hopefully we'll be, I'm um, gonna be rigging uh, a more advanced um, character for you guys. So you can basically see a full, um, full rigging process. Um, and then we could sort of like try different techniques in rigging so thanks for listening guys and i'll see you in the next video